we are another beautiful evening here in western Montana how we doing folks just wanted to kind of run by what uh, kind of a septic tank overview here for the shop so obviously we've got our shop here in our little apartment guest house and in, in process had to get a new septic tank going so from our outgoing out of the building we got here we've got our clean out over to our tank um, thousand gallon tank and um, yeah I don't know pretty pretty basic system honestly after uh, helping out with one of these I was lucky enough to find a gentleman who uh, was was uh, willing to let me kind of help him along the project so really I mean he was running the uh, the Mini X while I was doing a lot of the pipe assembly and things like that and um, yeah so kind of coming out we got to come out at least 10 feet off the foundation of the building we also kept it over 10 feet away from the side of the deck here um, and then obviously we've got our four inch line running down and down over to our leach field over there so I'm gonna take a walk down there so you guys can check that out but overall you know the process for a septic tank at least where I'm at in terms of regulations and that type of thing was not hard um, everybody at the county was very very helpful getting the permits um, very simple process and got, from start to finish got the whole thing done and I mean really under two and a half weeks from after I got on it and got the uh, site evaluation done so first you do the site evaluation and basically what that entails is uh, somebody from the county comes out and watches you dig a hole and they specify where they dig the hole and at that point they then oh got some dirt in the boot um, so they specify where that hole goes sorry yes never pleasant it gets when you're wearing shorts and boots but uh, anyways so they they tell you where to dig the hole and dig her down eight feet that she kind of plays with the dirt a little bit and says oh it's clay or it's sand or what's the permeability of it essentially and then based on that they'll say okay uh, this is where they wanted the leach field lined out and so that's kind of what we did we kind of had to remove the gate and some section of fence which is fine because I was planning on getting rid of this anyway and anyway so here we keep going down the trench and I was surprised that you know this is deep enough but apparently it is so here we've got our D box so our nice water flows down to our D box here and then the D box a distribution box right so now just goes down each one of our channels so we got three so I got 42 chambers is basically what I've got and uh, yeah so just trench them along this line here and we're just trying to keep them with the basically in that contour line the slope of the of the ground and this one heads actually right over to the main house's septic system right over here so I mean it's within a few feet of that one honestly uh, probably about 20 feet um, but yeah like I said that's not that hard of a process so by by no means will I ever you know be scared of doing one of these completely by myself uh, and here's what these chambers look like pretty interesting um, but yeah it's ultra simple to lay in there and you got when you're laying these chambers you got a lot of room to kind of wiggle things around and get them down there in your trench and kind of wiggle them around really you don't have to have anything perfectly straight because you got you're not using real straight PVC or anything schedule 40 so it's just real flexible with that which is kind of nice uh, so that's the process I just got to now backfill all this crud in which uh, should be a little bit of a process but probably not terrible uh, yeah so that is the septic tank and all all said and done I've got 
about 4,000 into the septic system, you might say, itself for materials and then the gentleman who came out with his mini x for uh basically three days to you know one do the site evaluation hole come back uh one day and prep the uh hole up here for this tank he dug that and then a third day he came back and we did everything else in in the day uh which went very very smooth and quick so um so i've got about 40 4200 into that and then in local uh, other fees for the actual permit itself, I believe the permit itself was 275 or 250. So, I mean, I guess if I wouldn't have paid the gentleman to come out and help me with it, I would have probably, I'm not sure how much I would have saved, but renting a Mini X that, you know, a two foot wide, two and a half foot wide bucket for gosh three days really probably especially i'd be less efficient doing it myself because i don't run mini x's every day so maybe have rental equipment in there maybe five seven hundred bucks worth of that and then time to go get it materials i don't think i would have i mean materials are materials so maybe i would have saved fifteen hundred bucks by completely doing it myself but then i would have had to take the uh septic permit test so that in itself you know who likes taking tests not me not for damn sure no test for me uh we've got our tank we got our filter coming up out of here so obviously water comes on down and this one's got a uh, does have a slope and that comes into here nice and level so we've got our tank level so water fills up goes into your filter and comes up and then drains at that point out of the filter into your uh, drain down to your leach field but uh, I mean some of this stuff is just so cheap and flimsy plastic I'm almost scared to touch it um, yeah so septic tank EP I mean, the only thing that kind of stinks is the, these risers are the, about the ugliest thing on the earth. I guess they could be a little bit worse, but um, just having them sitting right here when you're lo looking at your deck. So I'll find something to maybe cover them up to almost the top with some dirt and then find something that's a little bit more visually appealing to cover them up. Maybe some, some like sandstone or something and kind of stack it around so you can't see them or something like that don't really want to be setting big boulders on top of there but i mean i could by all means so that's the uh septic tank um definitely did not want to do one but it's silly up in this area um they make you do an entire septic system um for well in this case it was a shop so let's just say in the shop if i didn't have a bedroom in there and i had a shower and a bathtub and a toilet the whole nine yards and a sink i wouldn't have to do a septic system i could have just tapped into my existing system um but since it's going to have a living quarters a bedroom you got to do an entire another septic system so that kind of I mean, it really did stink, to be honest. But I suppose if I, you know, turn out to be renting this space out full time, that might be the smart way to go, considering that, you know, um, people using this facility wouldn't, if they did something catastrophic to the septic system here, it's not going to affect the main house, which probably is pretty damn beneficial. So, I don't know but overall kind of a fun project to be honest i mean i think doing one of these in the cold of winter would really suck but uh kind of fun so i guess hit me up if you guys got any questions i'm by no means an expert but i did study quite a bit of the uh you know you might say code book or rules and so on and so forth and regulations and uh stuff for my area so kind of familiar with it and a lot of it's just pretty common sense. So I'm pretty convinced that 
anybody could do one of these especially if you had a couple buddies if you had four or five of your buddies and you got you know you were all there all day pretty sure you could slam one of these th suckers out if you had never done one before in a day and you know you could get a little bit of advice from your inspector or anybody at the um, sanitarian department or whatever department that is in your locality and uh, I'm sure they'd pretty be at least up here super willing to help super nice folks so good time but yeah keep you guys an update of the shop inside and the progress in there pretty soon I got all the uh, drain plumbing side done now I got to do water supply side plumbing and by no means am I an expert there um, really the first time I've ever messed with any drain side plumbing everything else I've ever messed with uh, has been supply side you know just copper and I am going with copper rather than PEX in there just because I'm a little more comfortable with it and I mean I just I know it and I can slam it out so won't have that many joints to solder to be honest um, a lot of straight shots and things like that so I'll give you guys an update next have an excellent evening see ya